What is up, Boston Silscar fans, and welcome to our WPE announcement video. If you guys were wondering where I've been, no, I'm not dead. However, I am really sick um, just due to traveling and stuff. But if you've been missing me on YouTube, it's because I've been over on Twitch. However, that's about to change with this brand new Pokemon League. This is their first ever season. They've gotten a few weeks in, I think five weeks in, and uh, they've had to get a replacement for this team three times now so I'm the third coach stepping up or I guess a replacement twice now I'm the third coach stepping up to the plate to uh, take over the reins for this league so I am very excited I've been kind of missing the Pokemon League format I am also excited that it's not a full-blown season for me unfortunately we're going into the season as a two and three record that's okay though because we're actually still second in the division going into this so we'll see how this goes uh, but I am very excited to announce that I'm joining the World Pokemon Entertainment, and if things go well here, maybe we'll uh, we'll stay here for future seasons, which could be very, very cool as well. But for this video here today, guys, I am going to ask you guys to bear with me. I am sick. There might be a lot of cuts and a lot of me sniffling and stuff like that. I'm very sorry, but I am really excited to get this video out to you guys and go over our draft. So... Since we are taking over a team, we're taking over a team that we did not draft, which is always a very scary thing to do. Uh, however, we have been given the opportunity to take, uh, make three trades this week, which is very good. Unfortunately, of course, you know, the whole draft's already happened, so all the good mons are gone. But uh, there are a few things we can scrabble here and there and pick up. And I'm going to be going over what we have on our team for this season. Uh, we also have one more trade, uh, FA pickup, that we can do. For the rest of the season up until week eight, uh, we have one more additional one. And I'll probably be holding on to that for a little bit to see how the team works out and go from there. So without further ado, let's introduce the captain of our team. This is Mega Charizard Y. You guys may know him from season three of the PGL where he went on a tear with his partner Victini. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, we did not get Victini, but uh, that would have been pretty cool. But anyways, we got Mega Charizard Y, a.k.a. Igneal himself, uh, rocking the uh, the number one spot, the... Uh, the poster child of the team coming in at our number two draft pick which by the way guys if i end up going over a pokemon that i traded out for i'll let you know what was there before uh if i don't say anything that's because it was already there and i didn't trade it out for anything or anything like that uh is a zoomeril which i'm i'm iffy on using i know it's a very good mon people swear by zoomeril i have never used it so I'm a little bit nervous, but I've, I've heard that it's got some crazy power. I know that it has some crazy power. I'm just hoping that myself, I'll be able to use it to its fullest capabilities. But it's pretty cool to have that power on the team. And that's a pretty good, solid pick. Next up, we got the newcomer, the Gen 7 Pokemon, Delmize, which is awesome to have. It's our Rapid Spinner for the season. Unfortunately, it is our only Rapid Spinner. We do have a couple of defoggers, however, but, you know, it's much more reliable to have a rapid spinner. But we've got ourselves Delmize here, the grass and ghost Pokemon with the ability Steel Worker, which sort of makes it a steel type Pokemon at the same time without gaining the weaknesses of a steel type Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Uh, very excited to use Delmize. Never used Delmize before. And I think it's going to be a pretty good pairing with our Azumarill Charizard. And Delmize, you know, right there, that, that grass, fire, water. It's always nice to have on a team. So moving on, we've got ourselves Cresselia. Now, Cresselia is a Pokemon that I almost thought about trading away. And then I saw and I was like, you know what? I I always feared going up like, up against Cresselia because I know they can set up. They just get really bulky. They just, they're so obnoxious. Um, so I decided to keep it in the end. And I'm kind of glad I did because... We definitely need that that special defensive kind of tank thing going on. And, you know, actually, Cresselia is just a, just, a, just a tank in general, really. So I'm excited to use Cresselia for the first time on a Pokemon competitive league. Moving on is another Pokemon that I almost traded away. It was between Cresselia and this for the longest time. And then I decided, hey, I'm just going to keep them both, is Gliscor. Gliscor is one of those Pokemon I love to hate. It's got that four times weakness to ice. I hate four times weaknesses. However, we also have two immunities in ground and uh, electric, which is great. And we needed to keep Gliscor because it was the only way we we're going to have someone set up rocks. 
Uh, he is our only rock. Actually, no, we do have another rock setter. That's my bad. But uh, he was our main rock setter. He's also a defogger and uh, our our ground stab, which I feel like ground stab is very important to have in a Pokemon competitive league. So there is Glyce score. By the way, guys, if you want to leave some nickname suggestions down below, of course, I always have some from like past experiences. But if you guys want to give some input on nicknames, I am completely down to listen uh, moving on to the next Pokemon, which is it's it's classic. It's classic, and I really like it. It's a very nice Pokemon. It is Snorlax, which uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say about Snorlax. You guys know Curse Lax, uh, pretty much. Just <laughs> Snorlax is a great Pokemon. So moving on to the next Pokemon, we've got Drudagon, which is a Pokemon that I know almost, uh, no, I, I don't know almost nothing. I know nothing about Drudagon. Never even used it. Don't even know if I pronounce its name right. But it's pure dragon type. It gets stealth rocks, which I didn't know until uh, like 10 minutes before this video, which is why I almost messed up there. But I've heard that it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon, so I'm very excited to give it a go, see how it does. Uh, not too much else to say about Dredagon, but there he is. So we'll see how he does. Now, this is a Pokemon that I did trade for. This is uh, Raikou. This next one is Raikou, which uh, was a trade. Now, I decided to do this because I wanted a fast special attacking Pokemon. I know I have Charizard, uh, Charizard Y. However, I wanted a fast Pokemon that I could potentially Scarf if I'm ever in a situation where I need to, or, you know, use any sort of other item for that matter, besides a Mega Stone. So, we got ourselves Raikou uh, here, and I've always wanted to use it in league format, but it always gets drafted, and for some reason, it was just sitting there, like, just prime for the taking. So, in order to get this Raikou, I had to trade Crobat, Vikavolt, and Machamp. Now, I'm not too upset about losing Machamp. Um, I'm a little upset about using Vikavolt, just because I think it could have been fun to use. I'm not too upset about use losing Crobat. I know that 130 speed would have been clutch and the poison type being against the fairies out there, but I've never been a big fan of Crobat. I mean, the best poison move it's got is Cross Poison, uh, that, to my knowledge, and I've just never been a big fan of it, in all honesty. And plus, if we had kept it on the team, we would have been building this rock weakness it's just completely unnecessary to have when you have a Charizard Y. As we learned from PGL Season 3, we had a huge struggle against, you know, rocks. We managed to get to the championship that season despite it, but it was a difficult grind. It would have been way better without that freaking rock weakness lingering over us. So I'm glad to say this season, our only rock weakness, I think, is Charizard Y. Pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that, those, I had to make all those trades to get Raikou because of the way the point system works. And then I had to pick up some really crappy stuff. So we're about to move on to the really like questionable things that I had to get in replacement. So we'll see what happens. I still have that one more trade, like I said, where I can try and mix some things up and get something working if it doesn't end up working the way I intended. But next up, we've got Girder, the baby brother to, uh, Dirty Dan from PGL season three. Uh, Girder, I'm very interested in seeing how it works. I assume it's going to be a lot like Conkelder, just not as strong. Uh, but that's okay. I, I think it'll still do a lot of damage, and it was uh, it was a cheap pickup. Uh, next up, we've got Muck, the pure poison version, not the Alolan type, but uh, the Alolan type, not the Alolan version, but the the regular Muck. Uh, kind of picked this up just because it was sort of fat, and we needed a poison type uh, just in case, kind of a thing. It's there. I know these last three picks are a little weak. Uh, although this final, final, <coughs> this final pick out of the three is not the worst. Sneasel. This is a Pokemon that people still do use. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's definitely fast with 115 speed. Can hit pretty hard. Uh, and it'll definitely come in handy against quite a few mods out there with those five, four times weaknesses, the ice, etc. Uh, and I can definitely see us making some good use out of it. So... That is our World Pokemon Entertainment Season 1 draft. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a winning draft? Uh, what trades would you make uh, if you could? That would be very helpful. And leave some nickname suggestions down below. And if you guys are excited for another competitive Pokemon season, please go ahead, shield bash the like button down below. I need your support. I hope to see you all in the next one, in the battles. This is Grizzlock Games, coach of the Boston Soul Scarfs, signing off. Peace.